All right, Royals, uh, as promised, for anybody that saw my community post, um, I mentioned I was going to be getting rid of a few shoes. Time to kind of clear out a few things. So I just wanted to post this for you guys. Um, if you follow me on IG, I'll be posting them on there as well. So between any of these, if you want anything, hit my email, which is cutaqueen1 at gmail.com. And then um, my DM on IG is cutaqueen. All right. So first things first. We got an Air Max 1, men's size 8. So this is actually a pair that I purchased, um, I think I got them this year, just to kind of rock with a, with, a, with a particular look I wanted to rock for the year. Um, I only wore them once, so, and it was on Los Angeles soil. Literally only once, and um, I think that was March. So, yeah, only once. Uh, so they're... Still very much new. Still got the sticker and so print, all that good stuff. So this shoe was literally, literally like near dead stock. So it's, it's there's nothing really that you can um, point out that would say otherwise. Anywho, um, I would say a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Let those go for a hundred bucks. Hit me up if you're interested. Um, this is a very old pair of Adidas. I think I bought these in like 2011 or something like that. So this is the Vanity Volk Mid. Um, for all of my Chuck fans out there, or like Vans fans, anybody that kind of like that flat foot sort of wear. I did get multiple wears out of this, maybe five times, um, six at most. So still pretty, still pretty new. Um, at least by my standards. So, and so print, all this stuff is still intact. So, um, both shoes are about the same. So again, it's an older model. If you are interested, um, I will let these go. I say, um, I'm dropping off my bat. I say I let them go for about, yeah, yeah. 70. I let them go for 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 bucks. Okay. Moving on. Oh, and this is a size 8. So, men's size 8. Um, oh no, this is a size 9. Okay, so this is a women's size 9, which would be a men's size 7.5. Um, I forgot that this particular shoe, um, they sold it to me as a unisex item. So, got it in the 9. Alright, so, um, next up is oh, wrong side next up it's a phone posit men's size eight okay so this is a men's size eight phone posit one and this is actually the eggplant this is the eggplant i um i wore these just once yep so this is released from a uh, 16 or 17 or something like that so i wore them once um i think it was Coming back from SneakerCon Atlanta, coming back to Chicago. So literally, I traveled in it and took them off. So <laughs> um, I've cleaned them since then, but you can tell, like, there's really no wear and tear on the bottoms of these joints. So super new. They still smell like the fresh foam smell. If you know that smell, I don't have to explain. Um, eggplant foam posit one. And again, it's a size eight. I let them go for 170. Yeah, I know foams is expensive, so they typically, what, 220? 230, shit. Yep. Men's size eight, I let them go for 170. Hit me. Hit me, hit me. Okay. Next up is it's an Ultra Boost box for those familiar with that. Um, this is a men's size seven and a half because they are prime knit, so very roomy for me. I didn't have to get an eight in these. Um, but this is basically the Oreo um, All Terrain, uh, the Oreo uh, 2.0, I believe. So um, I think I got these in like, when was that? 17, maybe? Beginning of 17. They came out, I think, at the end of 16. Um, now, the thing about these though, I did wear the mess out of them. You can see some scuffs here, um, but that, that can be fixed if you wanna like, you know, get somebody to paint that up for you. Um, shoe strings and everything are still intact. Lace tips, all of that is still 
intact. Uh, let's see, insole print still intact. Yep, still intact. Same for the other shoe. Um, again, most of the scuffs you're gonna see is mostly like on this little uh, heel, uh, I guess, padding, so to speak, heel protector or whatever this shield sort of deal is. Um, but you'll see, like on the midsole, it does have some wear and tear. This is probably the most worn shoe out of the entire lineup I'm gonna show you. So with these, I'm not gonna ask for much. Um, they retailed, I think, well over 200, but um, being that I wore them so many freaking times, um, I'm gonna say, uh, I let these go for 70 as well, $70, okay? And you can fix them up however you feel, but they're definitely in, still in great shape considering how much I wore them, so. Okay, next up, this is the Jordan box. Okay, it's another men's size eight, all right? This is a retro 10, and this is the, for those who are familiar, this is the London 10s. So I have never wore this shoe. Um, I did get them off Stock X back in, I wanna say 20, I think it was 2017. I got them off a of GOAT, or StockX, sorry. And I never wore them. You can see here, super duper clean. No hint of any sort of wear. No hint of any sort of wear. So London 10s, it was a part of a personal pack I was gonna, I was putting together rather. And I just decided like, two years have passed, I still haven't worn a shoe. I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Um, my desire for that personal pair has kind of passed. Um, just so you see the other shoe. You can see the StockX tab on that guy. Still on there, so that's how you know I never wore them. <laughs> um, again, super duper new. Um, you can see the print in the insole. It's all intact, man. It's all intact. Um... So yeah, Super DS, never worn, never tried on, super new. Um, I'll say 170 ship for this guy, okay? So again, this was a part of a personal pack I was going to put together, but through time, as I may have mentioned in my videos before, my style changes and my desire and how I want to curate my collection changes, so I am letting these guys go, and the Paris 10s might follow. So I have worn the Paris 10s, but these I have not. 170 okay so hit me up q to queen one at gmail.com q to queen number one so that's q to queen and then the number one not spelled out one okay q to queen one at gmail.com or hit me in the dm at q to queen on ig all right thank you guys i will uh i'll get back to anybody that gets with me and until the next time peace